Historical Background of Science and Technology in the Philippines Pre-Spanish Period The Philippines has few written information with regards to its society, culture, and technology before the Spanish arrived. We relied on archaeological findings to trace the beginning of how the Filipinos lived with the use of science and technology. These archaeological findings showed that modern men from Asian mainland first come overland on across narrow channels to live in Batangas and Palawan about 48,000 BC. They settled in different areas across the country and made simple tools and weapons of stone flakes. Later developed new skills like sewing and polishing stones. During 3000 BC, they learned to produce Adas ornament of seashells and pottery that prospered for 2000 years until competition arrived with the Chinese porcelains. Eventually, They've learned how to use metals as their tools in so-called Iron Age lasted until the 3rd century BC to the 11th century AD. During this time, Filipinos were involved in oro mining such as copper, gold, bronze, and iron. Early Filipinos have also engaged themselves in weaving, shipbuilding, mining, and farming that lead them in creating the finest products of engineering, which is the Benawi rice terraces. Early Spanish chronicles also noted that early Filipinos built a refined blank build warship called Correcba that was suited for inter-island trade. Locals from Butuan were trading with Vietnam and those from Mindoro with China as seen on the Chinese records that contain several references to the Philippines. These records indicate that trading relationships have existed and established between the Philippines, China, and Vietnam. Before the Spaniards came, Filipinos were already aware of activities and practices related to science and technology. They have learned the creative values of plants and able to extract the medicine out of it. They had an alphabet, counting methods, weights, and measurement system and a calendar that they based on the period of the moon. Spanish Colonial Period When the Spaniards colonized the Philippines, it has contributed the growth of science and technology in the country. They have introduced formal education and founded scientific institutions. Parish schools were established where they taught religion, reading, writing, arithmetic, and music. Natives were taught in more advanced methods in agriculture. Later on, they have established colleges and universities around the country, including the oldest university in Asia, which is the University of Santo Tomas. Medicine was prioritized during the Spanish colonization, especially in the later years. Spaniards made contributions in the field of engineering, by constructing government establishments, churches, roads, bridges, and forts. Biology was highlighted during this period. Botanists, chemists, and medical scholars all gave contribution to the field of science. The galleon trade made a big impact in the economic growth of the Philippines. Spaniards gave priority to the galleon trade Two, to its potential to make huge profits. That is why agriculture and industrial development were not given focus and were neglected during this time. When Sioux Canal was built, visiting each other countries for Europeans and Filipinos was made possible and probably influenced by the rapid development of scientific ideas brought to the Age of Enlightenment. American period and post-Commonwealth era. The Americans replaced Spaniards after they ruled the country and the process of science and technology has continued under their rule. The establishment of Bureau of Government Laboratories was made in July 1, 1901 by the Philippine Commission, which served a purpose to study the tropical disease and laboratory projects on the country. 
and was later on replaced by the Bureau of Science in 1905 that became the primary research center of the country. While on December 8, 1933, the National Research Council of the Philippines was established. It was during the American period when science was inclined towards agriculture, food processing, forestry, medicine, and pharmacy, and not much focus were given on the development of industrial technology due to free trade policy with the United States that nurtured an economy geared towards agriculture and trade. The Bureau of Science was replaced by the Institute of Science in 1946. In 1950, there were reports made by the U.S. Economic Survey about the Philippines' problem with regards to science and technology, such as lack of basic information, no support, minimal budget, and low compensation. During the reign of Carlos P. Garcia in the 1958, the Philippine Congress passed a bill entitled the Science Act of 1958 which goals is to establish the National Science Development Board. Marcus Era It was only during the Marcus presidency where science was given importance. It was clearly stated by the former president in the Philippine Constitution, amended in 1973, that in terms of national development, priority shall be given in the advancement of science and technology. In his state of national address, Marcus declared that there is a need for science in public high school and with the help of the Department of Education in partnership from the National Science Development Board, it aims to provide science teaching equipment for a period of four years. In 1968, he also recognized that technology was the top reason in economic development and gave extra funds to support projects in applied science in science education. While in 1969, he allotted large amount of war damage funds to private universities to encourage them to courses that focus on science and technology and research. In 1970, he emphasized that by upgrading the science curriculum and teaching equipment is crucial to the science development program. Furthermore, he declared Presidential Decree No. 49, Series of 1972, as a support for promoting the scientific research and invention. Aside from that, one of his greatest contributions is the establishment of PAGASA, which function is to give environmental protection and to utilize scientific knowledge to ensure the safety of the nation. He also established the National Academy of Science and Technology in 1976 to have a scientist who is experts in science and technology. In 1986, he also established campuses of Philippine Science High School in the Visayas and Mindanao. It encouraged the youth in this area to choose a career in science and technology. It also aims to top the potential students of the said regions. Fifth Republic After the term of President Marcus, President Aquino replaced him in the presidential seat. And on her term in 1986, she replaced the National Science and Technology Authority to Department of Science and Technology or DOST, giving the science and technology a seat in a government cabinet. It was during the Philippine Development Plan for the years 1987 to 1992 where the rule of science and technology and the nature economy was highlighted. In 1990, State of National Address of President Corazon Aquino said that science and technology development should be on the top three priorities of government to implement the development plan they have made. In 1989, the budget allocation for science and technology was increased, amounting to 1.54 billion pesos. But due to Asian financial crisis between the years 1990 to 1991, it was cut down by 14%, and in 1992, it was increased again by 50%.
She also encouraged Filipino scientists and inventors to put back Philippines and second in Japan. When it comes to the field of science and technology, it was one of her goals to make the country industrialized by the year 2000. In July 1992, President Fidel B. Ramos reported in State of National Address that there were improvements with regards to science and technology. In his third sauna in 1994, he reported that there was significant increase in people who specialize in the field of science and technology. By the year 1998, it was estimated that the Philippines had 3,000 competent scientists and engineers. It was during the Fifth Republic where the government provided 3,500 scholarships for students who are interested in taking up courses related to science and technology. Schools became modernized and updated by having additional high-tech equipment. It was also during this time when science and technology personnel were given priority by the government by approving the Republic Act No. 8439 in 1997, which entitled Magna Carta for Science and Technology Personnel. Its purpose is to give incentives and rewards to people who made an impact and influential in the field of science and technology. In 1998, during President Joseph Estrada's term, the internet age was pushed for the advancement of schools and industry. Then, it was under the term of Gloria Macapagal Arroyo when science and technology reached its golden age. Numerous laws and projects related to science were made to push technology forward to increase the economic level of the country, like RA 9367 or the Biofuels Act. It promotes the development and usage of biofuels throughout the country. In 2014, President Benigno Aquino honors four scientists who gave huge contributions in the scientific field that geared towards the advancement of science and technology of the country.